Well, for months, Oakwood University's alumni and former faculty have been calling for more transparency and accountability when it comes to their beloved school. They have demanded action on financial challenges they believe the university is facing, but have seen little movement or no progress. I shared that with you back in October. Now their requests are turning into very sharp rhetoric and calling for the president to resign. What we're ultimately hoping for is not just a change in who's in the president's office, but in a change in how Oakwood operates culturally and as a system. But for these three, who represent a much larger group of 1,700 Oakwood University alumni, former faculty and staff call the concerned Oakwoodites, change can only start at the top. Now calling for University President Dr. Leslie Pollard to resign. We know you're facing financial ch uh, challenges. We want to know how bad and what's the plan to get out of it. In a December letter calling for Pollard's resignation, the concerned Oakwoodites cite a number of what they call troubling patterns. Financial misrepresentations, enrollment declines, the accreditation status of the nursing program, and even Dr. Pollard's raises. It, it appears as though some things have been done that were uh, patently manipulative and deceptive. They highlight a 2022 audit conducted on the historically black seven-day Adventist institution, signing 43 million in total consolidated liabilities. Consequently, we just had to go dig in the 990 forms and, the fi and uh, financial statements to come up with our own answers. So there's been no effort to explain the finances when we see the, 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 the decline. That's a problem when you're not consistently in increasing your enrollment to a level where you have the level of revenue to ba balance out the operation. Oakwood spokesperson issued a statement explaining its position in response to enrollment, quote, like most faith-based colleges and universities, including Seventh-day Adventist universities in the North American Division, Oakwood University faces the challenge of attracting greater numbers of students from a shrinking available pool. Accreditation? On December 6, 2023, the 77 members of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges Board of Directors, on behalf of the U.S. Department of Education, voted the full 10-year institutional accreditation to the university through to 2032. And finances, quote, Previous financial and enrollment challenges required adjustments in financial operations, but did not affect solvency. Expenditures on student scholarships and designated funds used for capital projects reduced our cash on hand. However, there has been no new indebtedness. And regarding Dr. Pollard, the Board of Trustees strongly supports and affirms the president, his administrators, the university's dedicated faculty, our sacrificial staff, and the stellar students we are each privileged to serve, end quote. I have requested a sit down with Dr. Pollard. Meantime, members of the concerned Oakwoodites say they truly, they truly who holds the power here comes down to the employees, students and parents of Oakwood to exercise their power for change. Now they encourage all of you to go to their website, concernedoakwoodites.com. You can also see Oakwood's full statement on our website at waff.com.